cut off by the Japanese advance, abandoned by their own country, their food, water, and ammunition dwindling. The Americans and Filipinos on Corregidor fought with an awesome tenacity that shocked the Japanese. Eventually, on May 6th, after five weeks of relentless bombing raids, the Japanese prevailed, overrunning the island and forcing General Jonathan Wainwright to surrender Corregidor and the whole of the Philippines. War history is often related in general terms, the way a historian might describe it in a textbook. The real history of war, though, lies in the hearts and minds of those who fought it and suffered its consequences. Like Everett Reamer, they know only what they have seen and endured. It's a history that is told from a personal perspective, often without mention of the big players. Now 77 and sitting poolside at the Corregidor Hotel, Mr. Reamer can gaze down and clearly see the South Dock where, 60 years ago, he left Corregidor for the last time as a Japanese prisoner of war on a tramp freighter straight to hell. He would subsequently be taken to Japan where he was forced into slave labor and would suffer unspeakable atrocities. 